Hi, I'm Dr. Shant Aharonian, and I practice high quality restorative and cosmetic dentistry in Burbank, California. I utilize digital dentistry to its fullest potential from 3D printing, digital scanning, and chair side milling to optimize patient experience in terms of efficiency and comfort. Today I'll talk to you guys about 3D printing night guards and my workflow. You can design your guard yourself or utilize Sprint Ray Design Services. For beginners, I highly recommend trying out Sprint Ray Design Services because it does take some dialing in to design your own guards. Once you're a bit more intermediate, you can practice designing your own guards and seeing what works best for you. Once you do have your guard ready, upload the SDL to Rayware Cloud, orient it the way you like. This is the way I like to orient my guards. It works really well for me. And when you're ready, you can hit send to printer. You'll get a pop-up of your printer showing. If you have multiple printers, make sure you highlight the right printer. And if you zoom in, you can see that the printer will show the resin material you're using and the, the appropriate build plate. Here, we'll be using Night Guard Flex in the standard print mode to print. You can check off that you're ready to print and Hit print now and the printer will get to work. The guard finished printing. Now it's ready for some post-processing. You want to take it out, let any excess drip into the resin tank and directly place it into the wash and hit start. This will take about 10 minutes to wash and dry the printed appliance. Now that the guard's been washed, it is ready for the final steps of post-processing. This is my setup for perfecting the post-polishing of these guards. This guard was printed on the optical polished tank, so it already comes out nicely polished. It's very shiny. We only have to do a small bit of steps to perfect it. Starting off, we've got our scraper, snipping tool, we also used uh, this bit. You could buy it from any dental manufacturer or find other places to get it online to help remove the bits of supports. We'll go ahead and scrape it off. A little bit of push and we're off. We have the guard here. And now we'll use the snipping tool to snip off these supports. Rayware Cloud gives you a couple of options, like I said before, different ways of adding strength or uh, different densities to print. You just have to try a few ways and see what works best for you. This is my preferred way. And there you have it. Now that we prepped our appliance, it is ready to be cured. I'm going to use Sprint Ray's latest curing unit. This is the Nano Cure, so we'll place it right here in the middle and select the resin we used so night guard flex hit start in about three minutes and this guard will be ready so in a little over three minutes our guard finished curing our guard is ready nicely cook cured feels great now that your guard has been cured, you still have a bit of bumpiness. This is where your slow speed will come in handy. This works at removing these very efficiently. Make sure there's no sharp edges or any support bits sticking out so that they don't bother your patient. And we are all set. All you gotta do is wash it with some soap and water. Got some soap in my hands, and we're gonna wash this guard. I wanna rub it all over the guard, get it nice and bubbly, and rinse it off with some water. There you have it. Our guard is ready, it's finished, post-processed, ready to try on.
fits like a glove and comfortable. Finishing this was a lot easier due to the optical polish tank. If you don't have one of those resin tanks, it is gonna take a bit more polishing to get a nice finish, but it can also be done. Just takes a little more time.